Hi everybody, it's Courtney Walsh and this is, oh my goodness, week four of Scrapbooking Your Faith Fr Faith Fridays. And I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to share with you a layout that I did for the Creating Keepsakes blog uh, about faith. And that layout is about um, what you believe. And that's a great way to get started if you're just starting a faith album, um, to take your most basic beliefs, that you're, you know, your core beliefs, and do a page about them. So I'm going to share that so you will have... Um, the scrapbooking example this week, but um, the new project and the new prompt is a little bit different. Um, I got a little, it's not, I'm not even done with it yet. I'm still in the process of doing it, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, <clears throat> this is a project based on the idea of um, taking a word or a, wor a couple words, a phrase um, that are really speaking to you. I know that there's a lot of people that choose like a word for their whole year and you do that at the beginning of the year and you know I don't know if it's like a New Year's resolution where then you sort of forget about it um, but I think you kinda have to keep you know reassessing where you're at and uh, I haven't haven't done that but um, I do have words at different specific points in my life that I felt like God has been giving me or saying to me um, not surprisingly it's often trust <laughs> Because I have a real issue with just trusting and letting go. I, I tend to be kind of a worrier. Um, and so it's really easy for me to get caught up in sort of like neurotic and crazy. And so lately for me, that's kind of been um, something where there's a couple different ways that I could say it. Um, this one, this particular piece that I'm going to show you is, is going to have the words be still. Because um, I've really never been able to do that. And I know that that's something that God has been continuously telling me to do. Um, years ago, when I first had my daughter, Sophia, uh, I didn't identify with being a parent yet. I didn't really understand how to um, view myself anymore. I sort of had a little bit of an identity crisis. And, you know, I got really caught up in that. And at that time, I think my word would have been relax, which necess isn't necessarily a biblical word. You're not going to probably find that in the Bible. But that was what I felt like God was saying to me, relax. There's, you know, there's time. Just take this and, and enjoy it. Um, and so for right now, my my season that I'm in is about um, trusting God and about, um, you know, relaxing a little bit, I guess, still. I, I, good Lord, it's been 11 years and I'm still trying to relax. Um, I think I need a vacation. I think that's ultimately what the deal is. But I want to show you this project. Um, this is a little mixed media project that I'm working on right now. It looks huge on the camera, but you can see it's very three-dimensional. Um, and I'm going to put pictures um, on my blog so you can see what it looks like when it's done. Um, but these flowers, I really wanted something to stick off of the wall. And I, you know, I, I was going to make tissue paper flowers kind of like I did in the art journal piece that I shared a couple weeks ago. But I kind of wanted something different. And I'm sitting there with this, you know, tissue paper in my hand. And I got on Pinterest and I found the best idea. So this is not my idea. I did, never knew how to make these flowers until I looked at Pinterest. But it's really easy, so I'm going to share this with you. Because um, the way they showed it on the blog that I saw, and if I can find it again, I'm going to link it. I think I repinned it. Um, but they made these flowers and then put them on like gift bags and stuff. And I was like, that's brilliant, but I want it on my wall. So um, I don't know. I just I think it's cute and it's funky and the dimension is good. So there's that. You can see it again. And all you do is take a little stack of tissue paper like this. Mine happened to be two different colors. I honestly didn't do that on purpose, but it's really cool because then you get the dimension just in the color. So you take a square and staple it in the middle, and then you're just going to cut out like a flower shape, and you can make it. I made two different sizes for mine because I really wanted to have, um, you know, both both kinds of flowers. I didn't want to have just one. I, I felt, I felt like he would be lonely if there was only one on there. So, you know, we had to do two. So just do like a normal, typical flower petals um, like that. So you're just going to cut it out. That's still a little square. Maybe try to cut more of a circle than what I did. And then you're just going to pinch them. Like you just pinch them and kind of crumple them. And they start to get fluffy and puffy. And it's... You know, tissue paper, it's like the best thing ever, so it stays that way. So all you're doing is pinching the bottom right by the staple. Be careful, because you will tear it if you're not careful. And then you end up with this, I mean, I have like six more sheets to crumple, but you end up with this great little beautiful flower. And then you just adhere the back to your, it may not be the best for a layout, but it'd be great for like a cover, an album cover, um, or something like that. So... 
the the challenge the prompt this week is to do a word or words like a phrase if there's a quote or something somebody said to you or a Bible verse or a lyric in a song or something that you really want to document um, something that is specifically for you that you feel like this is what God's been telling me this is what I need to remember and find a way to either scrapbook it or to put it on your wall and put it on display and if you make one of these flowers I want to see it because I honestly don't think I'm making them right I think I need some help but so that's pretty much it for today um, I thank you so much for letting me share this and I hope that you guys will continue to link up or email me your your scrapbooking your faith projects as you get them done there's no pressure you don't have to work on a timeline just get them done when you get them done and um, that's pretty much it so scrap a word or words and if you would in the comments section I'm really excited to give some books away today so leave a comment you could win three amazing books I'm super excited about these and I'll write more about them in the blog post but um, maybe tell me what your word is, because I'm always kind of curious. And maybe your word that you chose for the year, um, and maybe something totally different that you've just um, started to feel lately. Mine has definitely changed since we decided to move back to Illinois. So um, it's all about change going on around here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I really, really thank you guys for joining me today. And I hope that you guys have a great weekend. Thanks.